How's it going? It's Sunny Chapman, owner of The Salty Olive and creator of the Feast or Famine No More course. Um, it is episode three of IGTV. And um, today I wanna just keep it a short little one. And today's episode is gonna come to you in the form of a question. And that question is, what do you want to stand for? The reason why I say that with the emphasis on for is because I actually had a dream the other night. If you know me or if you've been around for a while, you know that I am very adept at um, decoding dreams through symbolism. And so um, I'm really good at analyzing them and getting in touch with the subconscious mind and what it's trying to tell us through our dreams. So um, I had this hilarious dream the other night <laughs> where I saw um, this character in the dream was basically kind of just being a naysayer about every everything and jotting down the list and being very like negative and um, skeptical and pessimistic about everything that was trying to happen in the dream and at a certain point in the dream I looked at the character and it was a young man in the dream and I said it was something about what he was doing and I said or you could decide what you want to stand for instead of what you want to stand against and it was like, in the dream, I could see the light go off in this character's head. He was like, bing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and for me, for me, the light went off in my head in the dream. And when I woke up, oh, yes, yes. What do I want to stand for? Because I do have a tendency and I think most humans have a tendency to fight against things we don't want. Um, to try and fight to get things out of the way that we think are in the way or whatever it is, we try to fight against what we don't want instead of standing for what we do want. So what do I want to stand for? And for me, that's always been one thing and that is for people to love and value themselves. <laughs> I want to stand for people to love and value themselves and to be able and to know that they can create the life they love on their own terms, in their own way, that they can have their dreams come true, that they can make their dreams come true, that there's nothing in their way and that they are enough. I want, it breaks my heart that people don't see their value. It's the thing that breaks my heart the most in this world. <laughs> and so everything that I do is about that. And sometimes I forget to stand for that in my effort to stand against everything that gets in the way of that. And it's a delicate balance because you have to talk about what's in the way and you have to address what's in the way but at the same time you can't forget get so wrapped up in that that you forget to stand for for something nothing's in the way of that you just you shine a light right back on it so it, I think it's this dance you know it's not one or the other it's not either or it's both it's this dance between what you're standing for and what's in the way so the fight against, but it was just a big, a big reminder to me and wake up call to me about how I want to shift things moving forward and how I want to definitely spend, I can't spend all my time not there because you have to visit those things, but spend more time on in the what I'm standing for place. So what is that for you? in your business, in your life, in your dreams for your world or for your business or for your family or for whatever it is, what do you want to stand for? And how do you want to do that? 
because once you make that list of this is what I stand for, you, every single thing that you create or do or decision you make, you can check it against that thing that you're standing for. Is it in line with this thing? This thing that I'm, this action that I'm gonna do for my business or this action that I'm gonna do, is it in line with this? And then you can easily just be like, yes, it is, cool. And if it's not, you can be like, oh, oh you know, I wanna wrap up a little bit more of this into that. I need to tweak this a little bit. Um, so that's all I have to offer for today, and I hope you find it helpful, and I'd love to hear from you, so let me know in the comments if you did. Bye!